Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the performance of the Int LR Super Saiyan Trio. That is the Int LR Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta and Super Saiyan Trunks team. And see how good they are in the Fusions Master Red Zone. Now these guys are pretty good but there is a caveat. They do need to build up their defense. A little bit. Even with 30% damage reduction, their start of turn defense is not huge. I think we're looking at like 200k. So you're gonna see them get pretty much instantly ripped to shreds by the few, well, by baseline Fuge Zamasu. And that's okay. Um, you know, them having to build up is not too bad. After Super, they would take substantially less damage. Um, you know, very much so. So it's really not like a huge train smash. It's always good to see realistically what kind of damage units will take and where and how you can use them. So, so they're definitely probably not a first lot tank. Uh, I don't think by any stretch of the imagination that's their role uh, in any team. But they can have some very good defense, especially in the turn of their active skill. Uh, you're going to see them here really do a fantastic job defensively and they also do a great job offensively so they're a very solid unit like they're very very strong very consistent they do a ton of good damage and utility especially with their active skill i think for me overall i do really quite like how well they function i think the super saiyan lead is also somewhat decent as well um, there's some really solid options on the team. Maybe not necessarily not item run worthy, but I would say definitely a strong team to beat most of this content, especially with an item. In fact, with items, this team will probably clear every bit of content. These guys are really good, and beyond the first turn, they're more than fine defensively. It's just that initial phase, that initial turn, where they can't really get their 18 key. So they can't boost their defense that little bit, which allows them to really kind of rock a really strong defensive suite. Overall, linking partners, team build, Super Saiyans is very consistent. It does need a first lock tank, but overall it's a very good category with lots of great units uh, that do an exceptional job, especially after super attack. I will say, I think that this team is quite solid and considering how well we did you know in terms of like overall performance i think we only used one item here uh, in this run i think overall it's a very good very very good team performance for me i think the int ss trio are a very big contributor to this fight they're not a first out tank but they are a great contributor to this fight because of the sheer damage numbers that they can do like they can do some really just big damage numbers i mean you saw there with their active skill they can just do some really 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 top notch dam top notch damage and i think that's really where they come into play i think they look great there they're very solid in that position and yeah i think second third slot is really good for these guys if you're looking to the item you can bring them along they will take a little bit of chip damage on the AoEs. Um, you know, as we saw there, probably around 80k. But that's for the first turn, and after Super, they'll be more than fine. So I think, for me, a very, very good starting point here. And I'm very happy with the performance um, you know, of the Int LISS trio. I think they're actually an incredibly solid performer based on what I've seen for pretty much most content. In fact, they do so much damage that they can really trivialize a lot of content. Um, these guys can really shred through uh, a ton of content, especially if someone gave them crit as they build, then they can do some pretty nutty damage. A little bit of crit, a little bit of additional, and you can see these guys pop off for some insane, insane, insane. Uh, attack stats and turns 
But here you can also just get a quick glance at how well they tank when they're not the main unit, when they're not the first side unit. Uh, you know, well, they dodged the AoE there, but you know, overall, pretty decent um, tanking ability. I think at a rainbow level, they'll take around 100k on the group AoE attack, which isn't too bad, considering all the other stuff they, they provide. And by the second turn that they're out, they'll take a lot less, if not single digits. And of course, they'll do some pretty significant damage, which for me is always kind of their main function. They're a high volume PvE damage dealer. Not like we have PvP, but you know what I mean. So yeah, pretty good stuff. But uh, that's basically going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and I will see you guys in the next one. And let me know what you think about the inter Alert SS Trio. And yeah, basically just how well do you think they did? Do you think they did a great job? Do you think they could have done better? What do you guys think you could have done or they could do to kind of push themselves in the eye of you know, yourselves but yeah i'll probably say that that's it for me uh, i think that covers everything we need to see from them saw them tank the in phase saw them tank the physical phase with no items uh, they'll die to a physical super attack of that i have no doubt uh, without an item but with an item there's a chance there but yeah that's it for me bye